This is Young Trader. It is hump day, which means it is crude day. Now, yesterday the API report came out and it was very, very bearish. Uh, crude had a build of 2 million barrels. Gasoline had a build of 2.3 million barrels. Disclus had a build of 2.3 million barrels. And Cushing had a small draw of 1.4 million barrels. Now, remember, the EIA report will be out today at uh, 1030. So you want to make sure you keep your eye on that. Also, uh, crude looks like it came down today. However, remember, that's that contract role that came into play. Okay, this video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy and sell any stock commodity ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have crude oil, your daily chart. Now, again, with that contract roll last night, it just came in right off, okay? So uh, what we're looking at here today is we're looking to hold this key date SMA here. This is always very, very critical uh, on a closing basis. Now, you can see where we went lower than that. Uh, we got down to uh, 68.58, but this is what you really want to watch on a closing basis here today at that 68.95. Uh, again, if that is lost, then we look to today's low, uh, 68.58, then we come right over here to the top at that 67 on uh, 97 that's going to be your next support level and then we're going to come right to the bottom of this candle at 67.24 and then we'll come to the bottom here you're looking at 65.63 your big retest here at 65.27 now i say that uh api report was very very bearish so we're going to see if the ei report uh, confirms it plus you have seasonality coming into play here so we got to see how this is all going to shake out here okay upside here what do we have for a high there today we had uh, uh 701 uh here's your target going to be uh it's going to be 7032 that's going to be uh your level here on resistance and then we'll come to the top of this candle at 7070 and then you're looking at that 7136 level and then we can look to yesterday's high you're looking at that 7192 now again if you can get above all that there at that 7192 we'll come to the bottom of this candle they're looking at 7220 7258 and then we can come and start rallying right up to this top of this candle at 7352 you have 7416 uh we have 74 uh 38 but realistically your big target is going to be right there at that 75 uh 17 level now nothing's really changed on this chart here we had a nice good rally off here but remember we had this double top situation if you just draw a trend line all the way down here this is a series of lower highs and lower lows and that's really always very very bearish this could rally not only past the 21 but all the way to the 50 day and the chart is still very very bearish so just always remember that that right now this is just a trading uh position here not this is not a buy and hold them and go long now <clears throat> when it comes to like a mid-february situation then that's uh, a buy and hold situation uh, you can go on my playlist and i have a whole list of there of uh, seasonality charts especially for crude and natural gas so uh, when you come to mid-February, that's a buy and hold. However, using that uh, uh, crude oil there is uh, a sell. I, I usually short it here uh, end of September and all the way till the first of uh, uh, December, first week of December. Then you take a long to the first couple days of January. Then you got to like it flat, but you really want to go long all the way back in February and then run it up into the summer driving. But right now here, this is just. Uh, you know, this is just a trading opportunity, which is always good. For me, long and short, it doesn't make any difference. So here's what you want to watch here today, okay? Just very simply is you want to watch that eight day on the, on the downside. That's at 68 on 95, and you want to watch that 21 day here on the upside, that 7136. Okay, so we could be having like a nice sideways action going on here. So again, if you break that 21, uh, if you break that 21 uh, simple moving average at that 7176, then we go to yesterday's high, then we follow the candles up, and there's your big target right there at 7517. Uh, same way with the 8 SMA. If you lose that 8 SMA, we just follow the candles all the way down until you get your big target there of 7527. But right now, we just got a range going on here. So trade that range between that 8 day and 21 day uh, until she breaks. Is it going to break one way or she's going to break another? It's just that simple. Now, you look at your RSI rolled over here, but then with that contract roll is kind of a deceiving situation. Same way over here, <clears throat> we had a nice good run up. The green was over your red. It's still over your red, you know, so it looks like we have sideways action. It's just that we got to see how this is all going to shake out. That eight day is, I can't express how key it is here on the downside. If that's lost, then you're going to retest this 6527. And remember, if this is lost, you got 63, 64, you got 60, and you can go all the way down to 57s very very easily okay now natural gas here just to kind of the uh, the opposite situation <clears throat> because seasonality is is in play for the old natty gas here now okay so yesterday we had a nice higher high 
we got all the way up to 2.436. It was very, very nice, but you notice that it just could not hold it, okay? And then it came on down. You lost that 100-day, and then, but you're holding this 8 SMA. This 8 SMA is going to be the key on a closing basis, just like it is here on the old Krutsky. Okay, so this is what you want to watch is that 2.294 on the downside. If that is lost, then you're going to find right there that 2.23, that is going to be your next target. And then we'll go right here to your 2.19, your 21 day, and then we have your 50 day right below that at 2.15 level. So upside, you got to watch that 100 day, okay, 2.35. And then what you want to do is we want to watch, like, say, the top of the yesterday's candle. That's going to be very, very key. Okay, that is going to be that uh, uh, 2.436 level. Okay, so right now we're just trading, going to be trading this range. But just watch this eight day on the downside. That is your key, key support. If that's lost, we know where we're going to go. You're going to look at it, go to that 200 day. Okay, you're going to go to this 21 day here and possible at that 50 day uh, here on the uh, uh, daily chart. Upside, you got to watch this 100 day. Okay, that's that 2.35. And then what we want to do is watch the top of this candle here first. 2.39, 2.40, and then you have that yesterday's high, that 2.436. If, big if, we can get above all that there, then what we do is we just go right to the left of the chart, and what do we got there? Okay, you got roughly 2.448, and then we had uh, 2.48, and then we just 2.52, 2.57, 2.60. That's what we're looking for. Now, this is I was only pointing out here, 2.448. So we came a little bit, came close yesterday. So when you look at these resistance levels, it's not going to be dead nuts, okay? A lot of times you just look at this uh, uh, resistance level here, and you came up pretty close to it, uh, and you couldn't get through it, and it came right off. That tells you that you got to get out of your position. So for me, I am long natural gas, and I scalp natural gas here. So this could be a really good trade uh, when you're looking at if, as long as it holds this eight day, this could run right back up here and retest that high very, very nicely. Now today, using natural gas is kind of kind of calm, and then Thursday when you had that EAA report. That's usually pretty good here for natural gas. It's been a really a good market mover, so you can make some money just on that Thursday very, very easily here, okay? So just watch that eight day. That's gonna be very, very critical. And then on the upside here, watch that 100 day and then watch yesterday's high. That's why I wanna like put the price channels on here. Makes it very easy, just like a 2.436, and that was yesterday's high. Very, very simple here, okay? So um, RSI here, uh, you got 56. You got plenty of room to run there on the upside. Your green over your red, that's still looking very, very good here. So this is still looking, this is still a very, very bullish chart. But just remember, just like that goes on the downside, it's not going to run instantly one shot deal, okay? It's always going to give you a chance to trade it, okay? That's why I like about the natural gas. Once you get into that rhythm, gives you a chance. Same way on the downside, it gives you a chance to do all the scalps here, all the way on down, long and short. Upside, I'm not doing any shorts right now. I'm just doing the on the long side, and I am going to be watching this eight simple moving average here on the downside key, and I'm watching yesterday's high at that 2.436. Now remember, watch that EIA report today at 10:30 on for, for crude oil. We could see uh, if it's going to confirm what we had all those uh, builds yesterday. That is not good. Uh, that looks like crude could come off uh, lower here. So just watch this eight day. If that's lost on a closing basis, you're gonna be eventually gonna retest that 65.27 very, very easily. Okay, that's what I got for you. I'll be back here uh, midday trading with we'll a look at crude, natural gas, and we throw something else in the old mix. All right, thanks for watching.